Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1579, which is a hard level where we have 25 moves to collect 175,000 points. Tricky because we've got to get rid of these ticking time bombs, but the ticking time bombs is the way we can get points. If we can match a color bomb with the color of a prevalent ticking time bomb, we'll get an, a lot of points and be able to ma make our goal here. Uh, but it's hard to have a balance between those two, and I don't see a good board here. I do have these mystery candies, could be good, could be evil, but I've got a lot of frosting and licorice to get through and marmalade. So I need something even better. I need something that can really uh, open things up well for me, and I don't have it yet, so I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this. I don't lose any lives. If I were to bring in boosters, I wouldn't lose any boosters. Now, I like this better. I only have a little bit of red and a little bit of green down here, not much orange. So what if I take out some of the colors that aren't very prevalent? That might open things up to some nice successful opportunities here for me. Yeah, Mr. Candies can be good or evil. This is the other thing. We are going to be relying on a bit of luck on this board. Um, and right now I'm not getting the good kind. Okay, so let's see. Remember how I wanted to concentrate those colors down? Let's try to do that here. Oh, we had another ticking time bomb, but that went away. Let's take out frosting so we have more space. The, the ticking time bomb is kind of dwindling down here. Let's see what we can do to get more of this stuff open. Oh, here. If I could get maybe some stripes to help open these up, then if I can get a color bomb, uh, maybe I can use the color bomb. It, the color bomb has to be used on something that's open and available. This is not the best spot in the world for a stripe draft combo, but it's going to help and open it a little bit here. We get not quite to the edge. It would be better over here where it's even harder with these licorice raft things, but we've got we've got to get something done here. Okay, now how can I get these two together? Nope, that didn't work. Oh, this is going to take out a color. Whatever it takes out, we get some points for. But now look at this. I really have to do something to get rid of all this. I need a good striped wrapped combo to come in and help out. That's not the way. Let's get rid of the orange that doesn't seem to be helpful. And maybe the green. I can't make anything up here. Oh, and that turned out to be awful. Arr. Ugh. I don't think we're going to get there on this one. <laughs> I just have the feeling that things are not working out to our best advantage here. Oh, well, I got something. Oh, that could have been good. It's not. All right, so we're going to try again. So let's go to it. And uh, this time I probably will just pause the recording and come back in over and over until I like the setup. I will meet you back here in a bit. Okay, not only do I like the concentration of color here, but up here as well. I have only one blue on the board. That has got to work to my advantage, right? So let's hope that I can get these mystery candies now to work to my advantage. What I want is a stripe draft combo to take this out and this out and then the color bomb. Oh, it opened up the red. So now the red is exposed. Now if I can get a color bomb, it should take care of all of my, um, oh, if I can get a color bomb that I get to use the way I want, it should take care of all of my points. I want to match it with red. Well, this is so tricky. Look at this. But this is the, the nature of a board that requires luck. I should have just taken that out. I don't know why. I mean, even if it's a, a mystery candy, it's still red. It would have worked. Okay, this is going to be my points. And then I'll have a lot of time to work on these um, taking out everything else. Okay, so I do this, and now this is over here, and if it sticks around, 
I can do this or this. I've got more stuff over here that needs to be done. So now I have one ticking time bomb that I need to worry about. Yeah, this one worked out a lot better because that is now done. And unless I get a, a mystery candy that has a ticking time bomb set at four, I can't really lose this board now. I've got the points I need. It's just a matter of using, oops, using up all my turns because on points levels, whether you have one star, three stars, zero stars, no matter how many points you have on a points level, the game does not end unless you have used up all of your turns. And that's the tricky thing, because that's where the um, the ticking time bombs can get you. All right, so that is how I beat this level. This was actually my seventh playthrough for recording purposes, so it's not easy. It's It relies on, you know, a lot of these uh, candy mystery candy levels rely on purely luck. This one you have to have luck and you have to have skill I think. You have to know the balance between uh, using those ticking time bombs for points and just being able to get rid of them so that you stay alive. That's a fine balance. But it was looking for a really good setup with so much red on the board in the beginning that was the way I was able to achieve victory on this one. All right, if you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.